Hey everybody, hey, hey, welcome to Delilah's Downloads, um, where we say what needs to be said. Come on in and have a seat on this gorgeous Sunday. I am here in the courtyard of my church, uh, Word of Life here in Honolulu, Hawaii, and I um, just had a word I wanted to share with you guys this afternoon, this afternoon. So come on in, come on in, take a seat. I'll let y'all get comfortable while I get comfortable here on the bench, amen. Come on in in the lovely courtyard. I was really hoping to get some of the backdrop, but some of uh, some of my church family has shown up here, so just want to move a little way a little bit and give them some privacy. But come on in, have a seat. Had a word, got a word for you, got a word for you. Come on through. Um, so in my devotional, so let's go ahead and get started. Praise God. In my devotional time this morning, um, let me to Genesis. Um, let me to Genesis, looking at Abraham and the discussion between him and God, um, and just the promises that the Abrahamic covenant really that it ended up resulting into being, um, and how that came about. And, and when I read through Genesis, this is in Genesis 17, really put on my heart about um, how God has made His promises, but there definitely are steps that we have to take, and He's just waiting on us. So I want to read this, and, and, and hopefully, not hopefully, and prayerfully, the Holy Spirit speaks to you um, as he spoke to me. So coming out of Genesis, oh, I'm sorry, I thought I had it ready. I did have it ready, but it had flipped the page. So Genesis 17, Genesis 17, starting at 1, it says, When Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. I am God Almighty. Walk before me faithfully. So there are a couple things in here. Walk before me faithfully and be blameless. Then I will make a covenant. Um, I will. Then I will make my covenant between me and you, and will greatly increase your numbers. Abram fell face down, and God said to him, "As for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. No longer will you be called Abram, but your name will be Abraham." For I have made you a father of many nations. I will make you fruitful. I will make you the na I will make nations of you, and kings will come from you. And he goes on to further talk about um, establishing his. God goes on to further talk about establishing his covenant with Abr Abram. At that point, one of the, one of the things I really wanted to point out here is that God said back in seventeen one, He asked Abram to walk before Him faithfully and blameless faithfully and blameless. So there was something that Abram had to do or was expected to do in order to fulfill the covenant, the agreement, agreement, contract, covenant um, that God was making, making with him. In order to be increased in numbers, in order to have the blessing, in order to take the land of Canaan that they go, they go on to talk about in 17, Abram was asked to be, faith, to be faithful and blameless. This is the part I really want to point out to you. So he, God asked him to do that, be faithful, be, um, to walk before him faithfully and blameless. Then God says he'll make a co covenant. Abram, it says, Abram fell face down. So God came to Abram, made a promise, and immediately Abram fell face down. And what that said to me was um, he humbled himself before God. He has surrendered himself to God. He worshiped God. So when God comes and delivers a, delivers a promise or covenant, we're supposed to spend time with God. We're supposed to surrender that same thing to God. We're supposed to uh, worship God for that. And what I really want to point out is the fact that God then, after Abram submitted himself, fell face down, worshiped God, God then went on to give him the covenant. It wasn't like 20, 30, 40, 50 years later that Abraham, that God promised these things to Abraham. It was immediately after Abraham took a step um, in the direction of, of being convicted, of being um, in worship, of, of being in surrender to God. So my point is, it's not going to take a long time, fam. God makes the promise, and he simply wants our heart. He simply wants us to surrender to him. And after that, the next step happens when we have the increase, where we take over the land, where our descendants um, experience the same God. Uh, so the word this morning was really pretty much, just take the step. Just take the step, surrender it wholly to God, worship God, be found blameless and faithful in front of God. The work will come. The work will come in parallel to your surrender. The blessings will come in parallel to your surrender. You don't have to make it and get all the way there before the blessings or covenant um, comes to pass. 
that's already that's already in the making he's already promised that and he's already going to manifest that in your life so continue to walk blamelessly continue to walk faithfully in front of god and continue to be found face down in front of god in surrender and worship and so next time family that's delilah's downloads reminding you that you do have an action it's not as simple as God gives you a covenant and you're like, okay, just wait for God to manifest it. You need to be, we need to be found face down in worship um, in front of our Father. Until next time, fam, Genesis 17, 1, um, Abraham being face down in front of the, fa the Father after the covenant. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>